Good evening. A man's been arrested following the death of a woman who was struck by a car in Kent. Police say two pedestrians were hit by a red Ford Fiesta in Churchill in Charing Heath at about 25 past nine last night. The woman was taken to hospital where she later died. A child was also taken to hospital with no serious injuries. Meanwhile, in Folkestone, emergency services were called to a serious crash involving a car and two people. It happened in Cheriton High Street. The fire service, along with paramedics, managed to free a woman who'd been trapped. One man was treated at the scene. Kent police are now involved. Seven members of a drugs gang have been jailed for a combined total of 46 years and four months after an investigation by Sussex police. The Hector County Drugs Line brought crack cocaine and heroin into Brighton from Essex during 2020. Alongside drug convictions, eight defendants were also found guilty of modern slavery offences against four children. One person is yet to be sentenced. Police in Kent are asking for the public's help in trying to recover a stolen piece of antique farm machinery. The front wheel had been taken from a 1904 Burrell traction engine parked in a field in Woodchurch on the 23rd of August. Officers believe that a large vehicle would have been needed to transport the heavy wheel away. Now, more than 200 cars and motorbikes have been taking part in Brighton's annual speed trials. If you've ever been, you'll know that the seafront is transformed into a racetrack. Those competing have a timed run down Madeira Drive. The first run, believe it or not, was back in 1905, making it the world's longest running motoring event. It was dreamt up by two friends who met in Hastings as a way to get through the COVID lockdown. But now the tradition of Frock Up Friday has taken a step further. It's become a three-day festival based on the idea of dressing up for fun. It's been going on in Hastings this weekend and it's attracted visitors from as far as Israel, America and even Australia. It's taken us by surprise and... Um... It's, it's different now from when it started as well because people have become friends and it's now a community, um, definitely a community, people looking out for each other. And today is the last day you'll see a lifeguard on one of the southeast busiest beaches. This was the scene in Brighton earlier today as people enjoyed the sunshine and the warm weather is set to continue later this week. Lifeguards have been out on the seafront from the 27th of May. Previously, people have been told to look for red and yellow flags to see if and where it's safe to swim. Well, football now, and it's been a busy weekend for all of our local teams. In the Premier League, Brighton and Hove Albion won 3-1 against Newcastle United at home. In League Two, it ended with a 3 all draw between Stockport County and Crawley Town. And Gillingham lost 2-0 against Grimsby Town. And in boxing, Brighton's Chris Eubank Jr. beat Liam Smith by a knockout in round 10 of their middleweight rematch after knocking him down twice. Eubank dropped Smith in the fourth round, the same round in which the Liverpudlian beat him in their first fight back in January. Let's get the weather now with Elizabeth Rizzini. Hello there, good evening. It's warm, dry and it's settled with high pressure dominating as we head through next week. It'll feel very much as if summer has returned. Temperatures climbing day on day. We'll start to draw in more of a southeasterly wind. So beautiful day today is captured by our weather watchers here in Eastbourne and again in Seabrook. We are likely to see some more mist form into tomorrow morning underneath largely closed skies. This is how we're starting off the day tomorrow, so still relatively comfortable for sleeping. And then the mist will lift and clear really very quickly, I think, through the morning. There'll be lots of sunshine around, always a little cooler towards coastal areas, just with that onshore breeze there. But temperatures further inland could get as high as perhaps 26, 27 degrees Celsius, so feeling very warm again tomorrow, and the winds do stay light. Now, as we head through Tuesday, it's more of the same, but the winds start to pick up. So again, always cooler towards the coast, but by the time we get to Wednesday, we could be up as high as 29 or even 30 degrees Celsius. The night's feeling increasingly more humid. That's what we like to hear. Scorchio, get the suntan lotion ready. Well, look, we'll be back tomorrow morning at half past six. Make sure you catch us then. In the meantime, though, have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.